This weekend in downtown St. Pete, so exciting. This is video from Action Air One flying over practices this morning for the Firestone Grand Prix. And one of the drivers you'll see racing is not only trying to rise to the top of the sport, but also open the door for other African American drivers. Reporter Eric Waxler talked with him about the program making it possible. Growing up, Miles Rowe didn't have a lot of role models in racing. When I was younger, when I discovered it, I think that not seeing someone that, that looked like me might have put a little bit of a halt into me wanting to, to find a way to invest in it just because that influence wasn't there. Only two African Americans have ever driven in the Indy 500, a race that goes back to 1911. Rod Reed has been involved in the sport for decades and has experienced the struggles. There aren't a lot of people that have the kind of dollars that can get into this sport and maintain themselves in the sport. But there is that piece of systemic racism, and that happens throughout every walk of life. Reed now runs Force Indy, a USF 2000 team put together as part of the Race for Equality and Change program. It's aimed at building minority involvement in racing. Reed's first three hires were African American. It was very important for us to be a pipeline for those in motorsports, whether it's uh, PR, communication all the way up through mechanics and engineers. As for his driver, Reed says Miles has what it takes on and off the track to be a role model. Force Indy has a mission um, to bring about a change in, in motorsports as a whole, but it's starting here on the road to Indy with the people we have on our team, all the African Americans and everybody learning and developing. Force Indy is paying tribute to black history with the car number 99. It was used in 1951 by Dewey Gatson, one of the winningest African American drivers in racing history. In St. Petersburg, Eric Waxler, ABC Action News.